My seven-year-old wanted a new bedroom for her birthday, and I already did her two sisters' room, so it was about time. She asked for something bright and colorful and where she could sit at her window and watch the birds. I had to remove some trim due to water damage from the window, so I never put decorative vinyl on your wall. This stuff is a pain in the butt to get off, so I did the unimaginable and I just mudded over it. Don't worry, this will all make sense later. I always advise everyone that when you're doing a design to tape it out after you've drawn it out because sometimes what you think on paper will look good it doesn't actually look good in the space. Originally, I was going to have three drawers and the cabinet was going to go straight to the roof, but it was too big. You can see on the baseboard there the water damage. I live in Canada and sometimes our windows just collect a lot of humidity and can leak right down to the baseboards. After I removed the baseboards, I did pull the carpet back. I always say too that if you're doing built-ins, you don't want to build it on top of carpet. And the reason for that is because eventually the carpet will settle down a little bit more, causing your built-ins to not be spaced the way you wanted them to be or causing them to become unlevel. She wanted a desk to be able to do her school work on and that vent we needed to run out a 90 degree. My husband is a plumber so I always get him to do this. It's very quick and easy to do. Then it was time for the custom cabinets. I always love building custom because I can get everything the exact size that I want it to be and as you can see this wardrobe is going to be pretty big. Now I want to be open and honest with you here. Sometimes I don't get my numbers correct and when I think something's going to fit it actually doesn't. Thankfully for me this was an easy fix. I had accidentally put the pocket holes on the wrong boards. This is a great lesson that when things get you down, you just get right back up and try again. Now for the built-in bench that she was wanting. I wanted to make sure that this had storage as well for all of her toys. It was a pretty snug fit, but I did get it in. After that, I started to cut the countertop for her desk. I just used a pre-made counter from Home Depot. And then I had a tough decision to make if I was going to do a built-in on her desk side or floating shelves. I ultimately went with the floating shelves. And then this is where the magic happens. Once you start to trim everything out, it just looks so custom and built-in. Now these floating shelves won't be very deep because I wanted to make sure it didn't block her view of the window and she didn't hit her head on it. I added some shiplap detailing and then I started building the drawers. Drawers and I never seem to have good luck, but for some reason this time, I just managed to get it right. Then it was on to the doors. The doors were a little more challenging because of the scale on the wardrobe. I was trying to make sure that they didn't warp. I always do inset built-ins. I don't know why I just like the look of them better. I added a whiteboard and now it's time for her to see her room hey, after not ahead. being in it for two weeks. You love it? <laughs> I am so glad that she loves it. Keep following for the next project.